Welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. We'll be looking at whether this is a choice for you. This is 120 litres with the side rocket pocket, 90 litres in a capacity. I'm a little dubious about the claim it being 90 litres on the inside. I have an 80 litre hiking pack, which is far bigger than this for its literage. Anyway, we'll go with it's 90. Let's just put a ground sheet down and have a look at the actual pack. I'll go through what the pack is made of and its features. Tough as old boots, this one. Now, I did make a video on a reproduction Bergen that you could buy and that at the time was around a hundred quid when you know a real one second hand like this you'd be buying it anywhere between say ten pound off a car boot or a flea market the 30 or 40 quid online so an affordable bit of kit the contents of the kit will do on a follow-up video this is whether a Bergen could be right for you the actual fabric itself, the Dura Material 1000, and it's 600 denier. And I haven't seen many that are that beaten up secondhand that they're not usable. This particular one is in pretty good condition. I'm going to show you another Bergen in MTP in a minute. Five foot seven would you would need a short back Bergen, and five foot seven and over you would need the long back. In the British forces, you'd be expected to carry your sleeping bag, uh, your Gore-Tex bivvy, a spare change of clothes, uh, your basher, your roll mat, your cook set even, and the rest of the kit is split around webbing, which is worn around the waist here, coming onto a shoulder strap on a yoke. To the right of the Bergen is an attachment housing for a rocket pouch. My rocket pocket here has an additional compartment on the lid. Another pocket here on the side, full fistful for one of my stoves. Now how you rack and stack your Bergen is entirely up to you. Whether you want to put your Gore-Tex waterproofs in one of the rocket pockets here or even as I do on the top here with an additional rocket pocket on the other side for your basher, your pegs and your bungee cords. This is a rectangular pouch for a rectangular mess tin. The perfect size and place to keep it I have uh, a hexi burner in here, a cleaning rag, my eating irons, and a backup stove like that. Or you can keep your wet rations in there, it'll hold at least one or two meals worth. And you can find another place to stow that. Like I said, there is no one correct way to rack and stack your Bergen. That is entirely down to you. You can try in many different manners. You can try carrying your bashers actually in the main body on the sides here and where you keep your uh, roll mat is dependent on you too, which we're gonna have a look at a little later. An ideal size there. On the actual front here, could be your ice axe, could be your skiing pole. Um, it could be a basher pole like this. So in, rotate a couple of times. Has a tab here just to connect it to the top and tie it off. So we're going to have a look at the rocket pockets now. And these can be taken on, taken off. Let's just get my roll pad out. I'll sit down on that. This 
is the inside of the uh, top lid here and it has a rather large compartment which is zippered here on the inside um, a good thing to keep in here would be your ablutions kit I have mine in one of these and the trusty old army towel now this should be bagged up and these should be bagged up but for demonstration um, I'm just going to show you the pocket so don't forget about this pocket it's very handy bigger than you think you can get quite a bit under here also a large snow hood on cords now I haven't cut mine out some people do I like mine and this is what gives it the full 90 now without that there's no way this is 90 I don't think the side rocket pouches or rocket pockets that's your MSN label it'll have two bottles one on each side this is the top this is the bottom two there and a zip on both sides and these zip on to uh, the side of your Bergen each one of these 15 litres and it is feasible to actually zip two of these side rocket pockets here together to make a 30 litre backpack and connect them with a yoke and zip them up so I have two side by side rocket pockets off the Bergen these are spares uh, off another pack off another Bergen and I could connect via these here which would then sit on my back on a yoke something like that you just need the yoke which I haven't brought out with me today it's bitten now okay without further ado we're gonna get to the short back Bergen now my short back convoluted Bergen is in MTP multi-terrain pattern and the other one we've just been looking at is DPM it has a shorter back yeah it still has to maintain having 90 litres so the way they've done that by making it shorter they also make it wider and a little easier to get kitted loose fill my sleeping bags and things like that but the short back if I was to wear one the hip belt no longer sits on the hip it's much the same in its construction other than like I said it is shorter and wider it has the same uh, canteen pocket on the front the rectangle pocket here and it has the ability to have pouches zipped onto the side really sturdy zippers here and you just zip on your rocket pockets it's not difficult instead of putting a rocket pocket on my Bergens at least on one side I like to attach a, a drinks bladder I have a two litre here this is also in MTP drinks hose comes over the shoulder down the strap so when I'm wearing it I have access to drink water I suppose the biggest qualm I have are these things here the load lifters which bear the weight takes the weight off your shoulders shoulder goes in there I pull down on this and it lifts the strap up I'll show you that again put my shoulder in here pull lifts the strap up but the thing I found is it doesn't pull any weight off your shoulders in reality a good hiking pack will lift the weight 
off your shoulders so you have a lot of lift from this point here above my ears so when I pull it lifts up here but as you can see here it is resting directly on the shoulders and pulling on that um, adjustment there just doesn't really cut it it's pulled it up a little but again all the weight of the kit is in there a lot of people are absolute uh, fanboys of DPM and I do hear it a lot I don't like MTP I like uh, DPM for functionality you pick what works and I'm not trying to champion one over the other you have freedom of will to choose whatever the hell pack you want these Bergens here are hauliers they hold a lot of weight they'll transport a lot of kit that is very heavy on the Bracken Beacons training uh, some of the lads were carrying up to 50 kilos 50 kilos in one of these will the ruck do it yes it certainly will carry easily up to 50 kilos my kit is well under 20 kilos this Bergen with the rocket pockets is 4.5 kilos that's how heavy uh, the British infantry Bergens are they are heavy so consider if you're not carrying over 30 kilos of kit you don't need one of these these are designed to haul a lot of weight I have more materials such as sleeping bags clothes you know fabric which doesn't weigh a hell of a lot and if I was to put it in one of my Bergens um, this would be overkill this pack would be a quarter of the contents weight it's not the way to do it um, I'll give you an equation on another episode of sizing your right size pack for the weight you've got in it or the material fabric you've got in it if you want it in litres I would seriously think whether you'd actually need any kind of Bergen whether it's British infantry French German they all weigh a hell of a lot and if your contents are only say 17 kilos to 25 kilos in that range go with a hiking pack a good one maybe even a canvas one something where the pack itself is only about two and a half kilos if your loadout is over 25 kilos right up to 50 if you're strong enough to carry that weight over a, a distance then a Bergen is for you but the days of me even using Bergens for a wild camping woodland like this them days are gone I, I'm not going to do it because the kit I have is less than 12 kilos I'm not going to put 12 kilos of kit in a Bergen that weighs 4.5 kilos it's not good common sense okay later we have the loadout which really we've already discussed it's shelter insulation and clothing and really that is all you need whether you're bugging out or you're on a wild camp a hunting trip anything at all fishing trip they're your, your common basics that everyone needs and there's still room left over in the Bergen then for your hunting kit like your traps or your fishing lines whatever your main hobby is in mine I have a hunting fishing and trapping set um, and some elements for bug out survival such as a saw a, a, a knife things I can shelter build with even if I was going to use a Bergen I'd still want my internal weight kept right down a good rule of thumb is 20% of your body weight should be your content weight 
So if you're 80 kilos, um, you're going to be looking at a 20 kilo content. So that's a brief rundown of whether a Bergen would be right for you. But then again, only you can decide if you want to just put five kilos of content into a pack that's four and a half kilos. That, that's down to you. I certainly don't. So until next time, take good care of yourself. We'll see you out there. Happy trails. <laughs>